Hello, YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. A brief cut of all games awesome. Gonna play here a little bit of the PSP. Gonna play a pretty cool game. And that game is called Final Fantasy 2. So, I'm gonna take a look at that here on my Model 1 PSP. Look at that game, isn't that amazing? This is a remake of the Final Fantasy 2 from the original Japan game as well as this game of course saw light on the Famicom as well as the sorry for the glare Get the camera and glare and all other kind of glare I'll try to help that out here I guess I can't help it because this screen is flawless The concept of this game is really simple. It's just like every other Final Fantasy game out there. It's a pretty good, interesting storyline. I don't really like doing a lot of RPGs for reviews because there's some, it's kind of a stretch of a, of a fill, as I would call it. You have four main characters, Farion, Mera, Guy, and Leon. This guy right here is a sub-character. I don't think he's going to be permanent in the storyline, but... Uh, graphics on this entire game got redone. They're pretty nice. The world is very, very pretty. And very much stretch out the imagination. I'm going to try to find a random battle, and it wasn't too hard to find one of those. I'm going to show you the combat and explain a little bit of the combat to you. All right, so basically you you'll have like up to eight or eight or nine characters on the enemies at once. Four of your main characters will be here, and all these characters right here are most likely run and hit you or whatever. Um, the stats in this game are quite interesting as well. I'm trying to show you. Try blurring out on me. Sadly, I can't. But, alright. As you get hit, as you use your weapons, as you use magic, that all benefactures to skill. And that, of course, builds up your stats in this game and, of course, gives you more stronger abilities later on. So your life will have a better, stronger uh, ability. Cure will have a stronger ability. Fire will have it. Blink will have it. Uh, a cool thing about this too, about a lot of your abilities, like healing and all that, and Blink, you can press the opposite of where your characters are facing. In this case, press right, and it will target all your characters for one large projectile. All your characters can learn all multiple skills at once. So you can have like a lot of, you can have like a, this guy right here, Guy, you can have Guy as a monk meets a healer, or you can have him as a monk, or a paladin, or a berserker, if I have him with two axes right now, just have him whale ass. You can have her as an archer, as whatever you want. This guy right here is a white mage purely, so you can't really do much about him. As for her... Bunch of planoids and insects and use fire. And the cool thing about this too is you can actually target all the enemies at once as well if you press the opposite of where the enemies are facing. Go all the way to the back, boom. You command where you guys want them to attack, and while you're doing this, these guys will charge and project whatever they're going to be shooting out. As the spells level up, they also their costs raise as well, so. You gotta deal with that. This guy does some pretty good damage. 
White Mage, this guy has a lot of spells. Yeah, silence, swap, fear, teleport. Blue stuff. Blink, which doubles up your evasion, so that way it makes it that way nothing can really hit you. Alright, so we need to go up to the mountains here. I see multiple goblins here. Got some guards, some normal goblins. Pretty cool so far. Just gonna have him normally attack. I'm just have him normally attack these guys really nothing. Also their hit raises like to one through three. It's like a random roll. So depending on how many times they attack, it also intensifies the damage you project to the enemies. So kind of cool. Also, Cure, yet again, can heal everybody on the party. I just have them pack all one character randomly because they're going to take them all out. So. I don't really plan a strategy with like these minor monsters. But, the storyline for this game is quite linear. I, I, I don't really consider it too amazing, too elaborate like the rest of the games were. Obviously this is of course being another stretch for the Square Soft, which is what they were, or Square, back in the day. This entire series was a stretch and a challenge and a, it's a gigantic metaphor of uh, experimental purposes and all that. It's a great game. It's pretty fun. It has standard gameplay. It offers a lot of variety for your for your your EXP needs. All your because there is no levels in this game, only skilling up. So think of it sort of like a Final Fantasy XI without the leveling, just skilling. Your characters can also equip and. We are all kinds of armor they want. Um, also, you see here by Zax, beautiful damage. But the game is just really well done. It's a nice representation of the game. You can get this for ten bucks, as I recall, brand new. Um, I think it's twenty bucks, obviously, in Walmart and other places. Don't hold me to that though, because I haven't really truly checked for that. But I do know it was like ten bucks at EB Games, so. This I got for like five bucks at Sears because I was extremely lucky. But again, this is a really, really awesome game for the nostalgia. Its graphics are done with that Super Nintendo look, so they look really good. As well as they look like something you would definitely see on a PSP or a DS. I get some pots. The shop system in this game is pretty interesting. It's simple and straightforward. It's just really stuff that you would expect to see moderately from a Final Fantasy game. There's no other way I can describe it or put it. You can run in this game in towns only, in dungeons. However, though, it does post up more of a threat for, you, for things that, uh, attacking you. Unless, of course, obviously you get some sort of spell or something crazy to countermeasure that later on and lower the chances of getting attacked, but don't hold your breath. So, again, navigation is pretty cool. The bosses in this game are straightforward and right to the point. But... Other than that, I really enjoy this game thoroughly. The 3D panoramic view of the overhead is very nice in the world. It presents a nice, beautiful, crisp looking presentation. Something I wouldn't expect no less from Square Enix to present to us. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. I'll be putting it some more soon and also uh, 
that's about it. Other than the music, music's decent, so that's why I didn't really comment too much on it. So, take it easy, folks.